Hello, my name's James Duggleby and I'm the Marketing and Product Manager for Crown UK. I'm here today at the Crown Factory in Speller, Germany, where we produce our full range of hay and forage equipment, including mowers and mower conditioners. With over 10,000 individual mower units produced each year, including self-propelled, front, rear, trailed and butterfly, we are one of the industry leaders in the mower bed production. At the heart of every easy cut mower is the mower bed, and I'd like to take this opportunity to take you around our mower production facility around the factory to show you what goes into the production of one of these mower beds. Here's where the story begins. All our mower beds are produced in-house here at Speller, and by producing our own mower bed to our own design, it ensures our designers can fully integrate the mower bed into the rest of the mower. So at the start of the journey, we start with the pressed steel. All the holes have been pressed, the bed shape has been profiled out, but before we weld them together, we need to bend the mower bed into shape. So here we have the hydraulic press, exerting up to 320 tons of pressure. Our operators can bend the mower bed into the correct profile, the top piece and the bottom piece, and we can then go on and weld them together with the automatic robot welders. Now we've formed the top and bottom of the mower bed, we need to join these two sections together. The simple way is to sandwich them using bolts with a gasket in between. However, as a mower bed is designed to flex and move as it travels across the ground, this can result in over time of oil leaking out of the joints. So at Chrome, we weld our mower beds together using our automatic robot welders. This ensures that the mower bed is stronger and always remains sealed and tight. So we've seen how we take two pieces of steel, punch some holes, press it into shape and join them together with the robot welders. As a part of this welding process, heat can be added to the steel, causing it to distort slightly and twist out of shape. To ensure that everything is running true and in line, we take the mower bed, mount it on the milling bed table and then we zero the location and a computer controlled milling machine comes along and ensures every surface is flat and true, every hole is in the right place and true. This ensures that as we mount the gears and the bearings, they're in the correct position, the correct alignment, so they're running straight, giving us a more efficient drive and avoiding any losses. So here we are, at the next stage of the production process. In this station we are welding the mounting bolts to the mower bed. These mounting bolts will secure the disc hub to the mower bed. As you can see they're mounted in a particular pattern and this is so our safe cut hub, which we'll talk about later, is mounted in the correct position. You can see we're using a jig in this process to ensure that each bolt is located in the correct position so our safe cut hub locates exactly in the correct place, ensuring the gears mesh at the optimum position. <laughs> 